The other day I was talking with an elderly man who needed my advice about his finances. To explain to him how money works, I told him about the fact that I eat fruit almost every day of my life. I eat many fruits and steal vegetables whenever my wife cooks, not because I don't like junk food. I do like junk food, but I know that being healthy doesn't happen by accident. To be healthy, I know that I have to be intentional and that starts from what I eat every day of my life. Today, most people who are broke think that they are broke because something just happened that caused them to be broke. But that's not the case. Most people are broke because they choose to be broke and I'll explain that very soon. In this video, I am going to be sharing with you the one secret that will help you never be broke again. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Now here's the thing. The one secret that will help you to have all the money you need is to stop seeing money as the paper note. Instead, start seeing money as a habit. Let me tell you a story. One day when I was a younger guy, I read the interview with one of the most prominent lawyers in my country. He was 75 at the time and he looked younger than his age because he was healthy and strong. When they asked him what his secret was, he told the interviewer how he lived most of his life eating healthy fruits and vegetables. This story shows us something and that's to be healthy at 70, we need to have the right habits from our 20s or even from our teenage years. I use the example of health here because it's easier to see and believe but that's exactly what happens with our finances. Nothing in life happens by accident. Being a good student requires that you're intentional. Being a good husband or wife requires that you are conscious about that goal. Raising great kids requires that you set goals and spend time every day to nurture your kids to be the exact persons you dreamed of. Nothing, absolutely nothing in life happens by chance and that's why you have to start seeing money as a habit because it is. Stop seeing money as the paper note. Instead, start seeing money as a habit to nurture. The first thing you have to know when you think about money is nurturing. To be rich, you have to love to nurture. Just as it takes a lot of time, care and nurturing to raise a kid, so it is that it takes a lot of time to get rich. If you don't know how to nurture, you won't have the required patience to get rich. You see, I bless God for the kind of spirit He gives me. I grew up as a very proud, rude and domineering adult. The above traits are known to be bad but I use it for good. Because I have this pride in myself, I usually believe that I am better and more important than most people. Because of this mindset, when I see my mates buying the most expensive phones, clothes or watches, I simply feel that it's because they are not as important as myself. Most people believe that for them to prove to other people that they are important, they need to use things that other people use. I feel the opposite. I feel that if I rush to buy a new phone when everyone is buying it, it means that I'm like them. If I buy things I don't need, it's because I'm like everyone. Because I want to take pride in being different, I ended up being minimalistic. To be rich, you have to have the habit of nurturing money. You can earn $100 and spend $10. You have to be disciplined to keep and nurture money. Stop seeing money as the paper note. Instead, start seeing money as a habit. The Habit of Responsibility As a little child, whenever I found myself in any team, church organization or school classroom, I would look for whatever is wrong and challenge everyone to join me and make things right. I can't explain how I got such a habit but I just love to stand up and get things done. As I grew up with this habit, I found out that complaining and making excuses isn't my thing. Is anything wrong? Let me do something about it. The second secret to not being broke is to take responsibility for your life and other humans. First, you have to honestly accept the fact that you are not broke because the government of your country is bad. You're broke because you have the wrong habit of money. After accepting this truth, then you must learn how to stand up and take responsibility for other humans. This responsibility may be in terms of creating a movement, a product or a service to help others in some way. Don't worry, it's not rocket science. All you have to do is to start today. If you're an employee, be willing to stand up and make sacrifices to do what you're not paid for. This may not necessarily earn you a raise or promotion but it will make you a better person with better money habits. Are you in a club or organization? 
stand up and volunteer. If you have the habit to contribute, you'll have the habit to solve a problem. And if you have the habit of solving human problems, you can be rich if you do the following. Stop seeing money as the paper note. Instead, start seeing money as a habit. The Habit of Learning I hate school for a few reasons and one of them is because the school gives people certificates. In my childish opinion, I think education doesn't need certification because it never ends. Because people get a certificate after school, they often have pride in that fact that they are learned and educated. Life in a school and your graduation date is the day you breathe your last. Learning is like a food and just as we are conscious about eating food every day, we have to be conscious about learning every day. You can't possibly eat for 18 years and not eat again in your entire life. You shouldn't read in school for 18 years and stop reading. You need to have a learning habit. You have to be curious and seek to know what other people don't know. I find it unbelievable that most people who are broke don't read books about money. If you are sick, won't you go and see a doctor? So if you're broke, why won't you look for someone who has made good money and learn from them? The best way to do that is to read. Read about money, read about investing and read about entrepreneurship even if you don't want to be an entrepreneur. I ask you to read about entrepreneurship because even if you love to be an employee, you'll do better if you understand how entrepreneurs think. I can go on with this video but a single sentence you need is stop seeing money as the paper note. Instead, start seeing money as a habit. There's nothing else that will change in your finances except you change your attitude about money. See money as a seed. It is to be nurtured. See money as a result of responsibility. You have to contribute to people's lives for them to hand you their cash. See money as a result of habit and you'll never be broke again. Thank you for watching our videos. We'll like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.